What is your medical gear loadout? Regardless if that is EDC, what kind of kit you have in your car, your bug in, your bug out equipment, any of those categories, what do you keep for medical gear that is readily accessible? That's a question that I've been asking myself a lot lately. And interestingly enough, I was also kind of in that state of mind when I was interviewing Skinny Medic in my live chat. You can check it out right here if you're interested in looking at that. But at the same time, a company called My Medic reached out to me as well to see if I was interested in taking a look at some of the medical equipment that they have. Now, the interesting aspect of that is I've been looking for a really good IFAC or individual first aid kit to put onto my plate carrier and then to have some extra stuff that is readily accessible to me in a moment's notice, regardless if that is at my house or in my car or whatever the case may be. And I was able to get them to send me one of their kits. This is going to be their IFAC, as you can see right here, my medic, it's their stuff. And uh, I can tell you that this thing is uh, their advanced IFAC, so it's pretty big. It's got just about everything that you need for a individual first aid kit. And we're gonna go over everything that's inside of this here in just a second, but the question may be, oh my goodness, why would I need a kit that has all of this stuff in it to be put onto a plate carrier or whatever the case may be? Well, that's actually a very interesting question. I kind of did that by design because I did want to see what one of their largest kits would be like attached to my IFAC. Now, it has hook and loop on the back side and there's a back panel that has molly that you can attach to wherever you want on your plate carrier or maybe your battle belt or whatever the case may be. But uh, it makes it extremely easy for you just to be able to unclip it and rip it off. So you don't have to reach back or you know try to reach around yourself to gain access to this. So that was one of the things that I really liked about it. The other thing is I wanted to see uh, if one of their larger kits would be too bulky for my plate carrier, would it get in the way, would it weigh me down, and all of those different things. Interestingly enough, everything kind of tied together with my trip to Camden, Tennessee to take fighting rifle from Tactical Response. I went ahead and attached this to my plate carrier just to test out how well it would actually do. And to be frankly honest with you, it worked perfectly. Yeah, it was a little bit bigger than what I was used to as far as the IFACs that I had in the Army, but it never got in the way with my magazine um, changes. It never got in the way with me uh, moving around or whatever the case may be. The only time that it was uh, a bit of a nuisance was when I was shooting from my left side, and all I had to do is kind of roll in a little bit further to get a good sight picture and it was just fine. So let's kind of talk about what we've got inside of here. I'm not going to talk to you about everything that's in here, inside here because there's way too much, but if you're interested, I've got a link to this kit and all the other stuff over on fitandfire.com. If you're interested, I've got a medical gear tab. You can just click on that and you can check everything out uh, with this kit. That's one of the other things I like about my medic is Let's say that you're not interested in the kits that they have. They also have the ability for you to buy individual medical items to build your own IFAC if you so choose to. So let's break into this and take a look at what's going on on the inside. As you can see, it opens up fairly well and then it just kind of unfolds on itself right here. It's going to have uh, a tourniquet. There's some EMT scissors back here. It's got tons and tons of bandages, gauze, uh, burn ointments, uh, burn um, bandages, and stuff like that uh, in here. It's got ace wraps. It's got a whole bunch of just individual band-aids and stuff like that. Scissors, plenty of hemostats and scissors in here. It's got a thermometer included in this, a whistle. It even has a glow stick. And that was actually a piece that I looked at and I was like, why would you, why would you need a glow stick? Well, a couple different things. Maybe you're having trouble seeing. You have a glow stick to be able to see what you're doing at night or you need to wave someone down. You, you, you call the ambulance or something like that and they don't necessarily know where you're at. You use the glow stick to wave. Uh, there is a rescue whistle in here as well. They've got rubber gloves and a ton of other stuff, you know, medical tape and just a ton of other stuff. Hopefully you guys will be able to see the uh, B-roll that I'm showing, kind of show all the different items that they have 
in this kit. So I am really impressed with it. Again, it is bigger and bulkier than what I am normally used to when it comes to an IFAC, but again, it didn't get in the way and it had more than enough stuff in it for me to provide aid to anyone uh, that needed it while I was out training. And then I carry it uh, with me in my truck as well. Since it does have the hook and loop on the backside, I can carry it in my truck, put it into the center console. It fits in there perfectly. And then if I want to, I can just slap it back onto my uh, plate carrier as I need to. So that's pretty cool as well. So like I said, if you guys are interested in this IFAC or the other kits they have, swing on over to fitandfire.com. I've got it under my medical gear tab. It's going to be the very first tab that you can click on either at the top on your desktop or on the drop down menu on your phone you can look through it as well not only do i have the kits but i have a lot of uh, individual pieces if you're wanting again to build your own kit as well so that really covers it this time my medic i'm really impressed by uh, what they're trying to do and again these things are pretty awesome i also encourage you guys to go out and get training as well because um, you know, first aid training as well as firearms training is perishable and if you don't stay on top of it uh, you can find yourself in a pickle pretty dang quick so really appreciate you guys patreon peeps i really do appreciate all the support that you are providing the channel it is awesome thank you so much if you guys are interested got links to all that stuff down in the description below and that's about all i got man we'll catch you next time as always here comes a high five Freedom through strength. Take care, guys. See you later. Bye, y'all.